Welcome to the channel and welcome to this unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the new Flesh Eater Cuts and the new Soul Blight Grave Lords for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. That's right folks, GW have sent me these free of charge for your unboxing pleasure. So, let's dive straight into it. Let's do the Soul Blight first. So, what do we have? The Fangs of the Blood Queen. So it looks like we've got Direwolves, Felbats, and... Sekhar Fang of Nulmia. Nul... Ah, Mia. Nulmia. Sakaar, Fang of Nomia. That is a pretty funky model. It looks at a distance. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh, wrong button, wrong button. That's better. At a distance, just glancing at that, I would say, ah, that's. Um, that's. I, I've got Dark Elf stuck in my head because of Old World. Come on, brain. Uh, 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 that's a daughter of Cain. Uh, is that what the army's called? Oh, I tell you, my brain after this week. Uh, I, I would have said that's uh, some kind of witch elf with the snake. But when you look at it more closely, boop! It's kind of uh, disfigured and stood in a really unnatural way and got a sort of pallid corpse-like view. It is a vampire. Or vampire. Or, you know, something similar. Right, let's have a look. I'm not going to focus too much on the Felbats and Direwolves because they are existing kits. Right, what do we have? We got instructions. Direwolf sprue. Double sprue. Felbat sprue. Felbat sprue. And then this, th yeah, this one. And we've got, uh, is this all the base? Are, are we short some bases? We've got three sprues in here for the Felbats. Wonder what size base she's on. Uh, how many of these are there? One, two, three, four, five, s 11. So she must be, oh yeah, look at that. Look at her surfing rock. It's... It's the size of one of those. Okay, right, so that's the bases. So, what does this look like? So, what do we have? That's, at first, that looks a little bit like um, a trilobite or another um, Cretaceous fossil, but uh, no, of course it's not. It's how the underside of the snake um, sort of, sights on this um uh sculpted uh sculpted base okay this is so small it really is tiny i mean that's a fingernail it feels incredibly dainty and i've just realized why i can't see it properly because i haven't turned the light on like an idiot there we go that's better i can see it now oh the camera's still not doing the focusing thing I wonder why it's not doing the focusing thing. Oh, well. Okay, well, it's still a pretty... pretty. I mean, this does feel like a really tiny model. Maybe that's why I'm struggling a bit. Um, it's a really good... It's a really gaunt expression. And you can even make out the open mouth and the fangs, which is really nice. Uh, the metal on the headdress... Is kind of um, mottled and uh, pockmarked, which is really cool. This is a chest plate, single piece. There's also some mottling and pockmarking on there. We've got a leg, separate legs. And we've got the snake. Uh, in this case, there's a couple of parts to the rear of the snake. And the body of snake is this one, which has these notches, which presumably correspond yeah, corresponds to that, so it sights on that. And then a glaive of some sort with a really fine, delicate arm. This is what you can forgive me for thinking initially this was an elf. Look how tiny 
and well defined those fingers are. I mean, you can see my finger behind it. It's, it's, the precision on the models these days. Look at this. Look at the tongue with the dripping venom. Look at the gaps between the two. I mean, I can't imagine that won't be filled in by the spray varnish. I mean, we're at a level of zoom now where you can see my fingerprint. It's just the quality of the fine models has just increased dramatically from GW and the scales are really well defined on here this will be a delight to paint an absolute delight yeah that is lovely I am uh, now thinking about my painting backlog and when I'll be able to fit it in I don't know but this uh, I might just do this just for for larks it, that is super cool I like that okay then we have the felbats these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. I do have some of these upstairs, but I've not, not taken them out of the box yet. They're in a queue. Uh, the, the bats are huge. I sort of thought they were going to be, like the whole bat was going to be that sort of size. Well, it's big leathery wings with holes in it, as one might expect from a dead bat. More leathery wings, sort of closed wings. Horrid, shrieky bat face. F furry bat body. Yep. Yeah. Those bats are indeed fell. Then, yeah, we have the dire wolves with um, sort of shaggy fur, bits of skin hanging off, bits of bone exposed, torn skin, slash marks. You can see the inside of the face. This one's lost its eyelids. Yep. Dead dogs. Dire wolves. What do the instructions say? Is there anything illuminating in the instructions? Right, it looks like Sakaar doesn't have any build options. That's all one one option. The fell bats, it looks like you can put any head on any bat to try and get a little bat of variety. Okay, no, no never try and pun like that again. Um... The dire wolves, they look like mono builds, monopose. Yeah, these are all monopose. And some pretty pictures of, yeah, things being dead, but still moving about. I do like this one with the crow eating the back of the dire wolf. And the dire wolf's like, you know, whatever. Am I bothered? And uh, some detail at the back of the miniature here. Little bits of flesh exposed, really pallid. Yeah, yeah. This, as far as I'm concerned, this is a hit. Oh, well, what's she like? Uh, what's she got? She's got uh, all range one inch, four attacks, three plus three plus minus one, two. Two attacks, three, that would presumably be from the snake. Three plus three plus minus two, two. Nice. Leadership 10, 7 wounds, 6 inch move, 4 up save. Ah yeah, number 2 is indeed a snake. Cool. Right, that's the fangs of the Blood Queen. Okay, now we come to the Flesh Eater Courts. <clears throat> who have been desperately due for some additional minis. Right, we'll start with this one. Um... Regular viewers will know the plastic blisters I don't open up for two reasons. You can see most of it from the from behind, but then it it's for storage. <laughs> it's I would have so many loose sprues kicking about the place that I just can't. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's much in the way of build options. It looks like maybe there's a head build option. Peeking through at the instructions. Looks like a fairly... Well, I mean, these, these characters that come on a single sprue in this size, they are usually <coughs> very mono-build. And he's got uh, the royal decapitator. He's carrying a head, what he has royally decapitated, and what's left of a headsman's mask with his rusty axe with a head stuck on the spike. Yeah, very cool. Right, now we've got... Oh, too close. Now we've got this one, the Grand Justice Gourmet, and I have to say, I think this is a deliciously tongue-in-cheek uh, 
semi-comedic model with all all those intestines as a uh, as a judge's wig, an old world judge with the huge curls, the ceremonial wig. But look at him; you, he's, you can see he's got the fleshy fangs, and he's got a chain of severed hands round him, as well as his book and his gavel. <laughs> oh, and he stood on the pile of law books. Excellent. Right, let's have a look at him. Single tray. I do wonder why sometimes... Look at this. These are the same size sprues. I wonder why some of them they put in the plastic blisters or some of them in the boxes. I don't get that. Maybe it's to do with storage in the stores. It's to do with how many they get. Maybe these take more storage. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. So, this again looks like monobuild. We've got... Oh, he's got a ruff. He is wearing an Elizabethan ruff. Oh, that is so cool. And the, the intestines are separate bits. These intestines have got a book attached to them. They slot onto his head. He stands on these books really small parts again that gavel is a lot smaller than I imagined I thought this guy was going to be quite a bit bigger than this um, just it looks very imposing there but not so much with the individual pieces the robe with the hands on it he's got a couple of legs the usual number of legs the anticipated number of legs and then, ah, right, so his torso's in two bits. He's got a torso here with this sort of hips, a torso, but no head, no back. His back's the thing. Then this sits over, so you see his, his chest torso through the, uh, the hole in the front of his gown. Cool. And, yeah, monobuild, monorail, monorail, monobuild. Ooh, what's he do? So his gavel, obviously he doesn't have the special rules on here, his gavel is a melee attack, one inch range, four attacks, four plus three plus minus one, D3 damage. Goodness me, the hammer of justice comes smacking down. <laughs> right then, now we have the abhorrent cardinal. So he's the sort of um, head of, if you, you sort of think of like... Um, High priest, I guess, in a sort of medieval court type setting. What's he got? He's got lots of sort of bones and things in his um, in his robes. I imagine he believes those to be sort of intricate tapestries, and maybe these skulls are meant to be an incense burner, and that's his uh, his crook or something of that nature. And the fur poking out of his back. Maybe, maybe that's oh dear. Right, let's have a look. Okay, another half sprue. That's, that's half, this is a whole sprue. Another tiddler. 32 mil base. Right, what's he look like? Yeah, that is that is a gavel with all sorts of bones just lashed together and a skull stuck on top. Oh, it's a rib cage. It's a rib cage. Is that an actual heart in it? Yes, it's impaled on a heart. He must have to refresh that on regular occasions. Then we've got the sort of bandolier of um, skulls, his robe with all these bones. He's oh he's got a he's he's surfing on a rock. He's surfing on a rock. Is that a Dwardin rock, maybe? Possibly. No, I think it looks more human. It's an oldie worldy human. Then he's got this sort of um Did I say mitre for that? No, I, what did I say? I don't know. The mice is a hat, isn't it? I don't know. That I don't have the right words for these things. Um He's got an impressive hat with bones sewn into it. And again, 
looking at his his open mouth the i mean you can see the individual teeth and the tongue in there gone are the days of just the general impression of some teeth that you can yeah they really all stand out it's a lovely sculpt yeah cool now <clears throat> usheran the mortark of destruction i have been looking forward to this Come on, get back in your box, back in your box. Should have paused the camera. Should have, would have, could have, didn't I? Right. Usheran, the Mortark of Delusion. Look at that. He is a crazed monster. That is fantastic. Actual size one to one. He's huge. I can just see him just laying waste to all sorts of stuff and he's got still got vestiges of knightly armor which is all sort of tarnished and stuff to to corrode and he's just got so many heads and things sewn into this um this oh, what would the cloak be called not a mane uh oh there's a name for it and the name is eluding me um um, I'm sure someone will tell me I do know, I just can't remember right, let's have a look let's have a look, let's have a look. okay instructions three sprues and the huge base the huge base is that the size of the one for the Moor Crusher? Or is that a Mega Gar No, it's the Mega Gargant size one, I think. Uh, it's big. It's big. And there's this... Oh, wow. There's this massive stone dais that he has glued to his feet that he carries around with him everywhere. But look at all these bones on it. And the, the cracking of the stone. And just piles and piles of dead bodies. And is that a rat's tail? Is that a, from a dead rat? Yeah, it looks like the, t the tail of a rat. He's not quite finished eating. Then we've got, oh man, this is so much detail. The steps up this dais. There's a skull with a helmet, helmet on it. There's a niche in this, um, in this piece of wall with, um, with a skull in it. And these bricks look really well defined, really, really clear lines between each piece. Yeah, this is nice. We've got bits of fur. This is the back of his head with some horns and his tongue. Then presumably, ah, all right. His, his face is in two parts, it looks like, with the spires of his crown. Is that a crown or has that grown out of his head? It looks like it's growing out of his head. Then we've got bits of what I'm going to inaccurately refer to as the mane. Here with little bits of fur poking out. Big, really well-defined um, ropes of fur coming out. Not uh, a sort of solid block with a vague definition of some wibbling. No, no, no. And really clear scores. You can even see some of them. This one here has the eyes still in it. This one doesn't. This has one eye and some scraps of skin over the skull. Yeah, that's nice. And by nice, I mean horrific. But nicely horrific. Horrifically nice. All right, what do we have here? We've got the rest of the, the not a main. Again, more more heads, bits of skulls all hanging in there. Look at the size of that shoulder pauldron. It's huge. Alright, we're gonna to compare to fingers again now. That my my finger fits inside that one. Goodness me. There's a wolf's head there. More heads that go inside. I mean look at the number of faces inside this. One, that face has got a moustache and a beard. That's a 
and one dead had two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dead heads, eleven alone just on this section. And we've got another section with more of the same. Big muscly legs. Lots of definition on there. Really good for highlighting slash dry brushing, whatever your poison is. Uh, his he's, he's got a sort of ropey loincloth. Oh, a, a loincloth tied on by a rope. And this mace is humongous. It's looking at the box art. It's metal, so it's sculpted to be. Um, it's like it's a flanged mace with skulls between the flanges. They look like they're flesh eater skulls, or in the, the style of flesh eater skulls. And the base of the mace is a rib cage. That is cool. We got some bits of chainmail. These look like the faces for the other side, other edges of the flanged mace. Uh, not quite sure what this bit is. Is this some kind of chalice? Not sure. We've got some rings. Not quite sure what they are. Maybe the instructions will make that clear. Oh, these rings here. Sorry. Just realised I was off the camera. Oh, let's have a look at the instructions. Okay, yeah, building the legs, building the legs, building the body. Oh, the rings are his, it's his jewellery, it's his, his bracelets and stuff, and they go between the arm and the hand and sit on there. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That makes them look a lot more 3D, three-dimensional than just being, you know, part of the arm. They're sort of separate pieces, so there's that, that three dimension to it. That's cool. Now, what's this saying? Okay, just some specific... This looks obviously like a tricky bit. They've called out some stuff independently. Uh, and again, here with this not a main. I'm going to do this in this... Excuse me, this order. Chains. The base. His head and crown. Wow, I mean, look at that. Yeah. He is a monster. Right, what do his weapons do? Okay, so he's got his mace and his hands, feet, and, and his claws and teeth. His mace, three inch range, three attacks, three plus two plus, minus two, D3 plus three damage. Ow! Well, he is a Mortark, and the size of him. I wonder how many points he is. Um, two inch range. 10 attacks with his claws and face. 3 plus 3 plus minus 1, 2 damage. God, this guy will take out a unit of Stormcast without even breaking a sweat. And when I say unit, I mean a, ten, a unit of 10. 10 inch move, 16 wounds, leadership 10, 4 up save. Wow, that is, that's a beautiful beast. <laughs> Right, and that's our lot. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. You found it useful. Um, if you want to support me, check out the description to the video. There are some details in there about how you can do that. Things like Patreon, channel memberships, affiliate links, that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, whether you do or whether you don't, thank you for uh, watching this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.